ladies fight over dead man's gola hmm. that gola must be very sweet for the wife and the side chick to be fighting over the man even in his death so just watch this video guys <laughs> Guys, what do you think concerning this condition, this situation that you just watched now? That a side chick and your wife is fighting over a dead man. <laughs> that guy's bola must be really sweet. Because see, I can't even imagine it. Like, I can't even imagine it. Because to me, I feel like this man, according to the story we heard, is that the side chick came and, you know, after the wife, you know, arranged for her husband's funeral, the side chick came and you know, put those teddy bears like for her mind now. She loved the man so much. Probably the man was buying a lot of teddy bears when they were dating. Abby. She now put teddy bears surrounding the coffin, right? Now the wife came and saw it and then brought a whole nylon. <laughs> she brought a bag to so start picking all those rubbish <laughs> from the coffin inside the bag to go and throw them away. Side chick no grill. Only go no waiting man, don't tell side chick. Ah, some married men are suffering in their own so. Only God know what a married man don't tell side chick when he their life about the wife. For the side chick to have mind to even decorate his coffin side. I'm not going to say bedside. <laughs> his coffin side with teddies. <laughs> and for her to have the mind to fight back. You know that normally eh, girls that are eh, dating married men, they used to be scared. If I did they're no longer scared again. No. These days we now see side chicks posting their married men boyfriends, their sugar daddy, on their WhatsApp status these days. I know about two. They'll be posting the man on his the man's birthday. They'll post him and say, Happy birthday. How would the wife feel? <laughs> so they will be saying that the the the, the sugar daddy, their godfather, the ones that are scared and not, they are not proud of it. Then there are some that will be proud of somebody's husband and be calling the person baby. Now this they said they even post them for Facebook. People, side chicks are no longer scared. Before those days, side chicks. If you dance that married man car, if they drive past on the street, you don't say wife go see her, you go back down. But these days, side chick now, they go even start up, they make sure say the wife see them. Side chicks now go to restaurants, you know, supermarkets to beat the wives of the men they are dating. <laughs> side chicks no longer have respect. They no longer have respect. I'm beginning to wonder, like, where is this God coming from? Is it social media? This social media and that made the whole thing look like it's a normal thing. If this lady is truly not married to the man, why are they fighting? Normally, they're supposed to even, if I'm with the wife, I will not fight for that kind of man. I'm supposed to even be slapping the man. In fact, you deserve it. You get. You deserve it. That's how a woman came on social media to talk about her husband that cheated on her when they already married. It's not like he had the child after 
before they got married. Like they were married, she was pregnant, and the husband's side chick was pregnant at the same time. And the side chick had plans of marrying the man, but she stood by him and said, no, she will not allow the husband to marry the side chick, you get. So the husband actually said, if it's like that, that the, she, that the wife would have to take care of the child that the side chick, you know, uh, gave birth to. So now the wife said, why she's even asking social media is she wants to run a DNA test on the man's child. That's the stepchild. That the stepchild does not look anything like the children she's bearing, does not have any features of her husband, not even her husband's relative. That the child does not look like the husband, doesn't behave like the husband. That she feels that the side chick is trying to pin another man, child on the on, on the man. Do you know what people wrote under the comment section? I saw that one in a, a Amanda Chisholm's blog when she posted. People said the woman should leave the matter alone. Allow, she said she wants to go around DNA tests without letting the husband know. You get. Because she cannot continue to be feeding and um, training another person's child inside her husband's listen. People said, leave him, leave the matter alone because allow your husband to, to suffer. Because let him, his punishment is let him train a child that does not belong to him. If truly the child is not even his own. Because the woman's plan is when she finds out that the DNA test does not match, she will not expose it to the husband. The husband will not stop feeding and training another person's child. Now, why do you care so much about a man that treated you that way? You are pregnant. He's trying to be petting you, taking care of you. Eh? He rather went out to go and have sex with another person. So sometimes when I see women fighting over, over certain men, certain things, when I, I can't even wonder, like, it's a man, the only thing you have in this life. Like, don't you plan to buy a car, build a house? Like, you know, there are certain things that when your husband is not doing well, when your husband does they misbehave for marriage, you focus your, your energy on certain things that will make you live better in life. Or rather, when I go to the husband, they fuck up. And I'm going to find a way to even help the man. It's not you to deal with the man accordingly. People, people advise to say, Madam, leave that journey test, leave it alone. It's not your business. Allow the man and the side chick when they do it, they do. And again, it's the man's punishment for actually sleeping with an outsider when you were married. So let him continue to feed another man's child if truly make him say feed the man till the, the beginning till the beginning reach 40 years old before he go find out say we don't because that one ain't go pain pass. Because if you can one year, two year plus, you can't find out. No go pain now because you go say, I thank God though, my wife even saved me. Why are you the one saving a, a, a man that uh, uh, fucked up? You get women don't know how to be wicked. You don't have to be wicked. Your man will fuck up. Now you go see they try to make the home perfect. No, if man don't fuck up, we try to make the home very, very uncomfortable for the man, especially for those of you that will still stay in the marriage when men don't fuck up. You get the point. Now, this is not to say that if your man fuck up, you must leave the marriage. No, you can decide to stay in the marriage and make him very, very uncomfortable. So this one that you're even agreeing to feed the child, take care of the child because you don't want to leave your marriage and you don't want your husband to marry under a uh, second wife. Oh, yeah, now. Allow him to train somebody's child. That's the if I, that's the worst punishment. Because there was a man that that thing happened to four of your children. I don't know if the man is a pilot or what, self. Four of your children. So it's the best punishment. So I don't know the reason why these two people now they are fighting for the one that is already dead. At least this other woman she's fighting for a, 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 a life bowler. This one is fighting for dead bowler. Eh? That's what the bowler tells you. You are supposed to be slapping that, that man inside that coffin. If not me, I'm not going to even care. Any time I any had the side chick going to decorate the man, let her be decorating him and be going. Eh? Now you're fighting over. <laughs> anyway, guys, I said, let me come and show you people the gist because things are really happening on social media. What do you think? <laughs> if you see, what will you do? <laughs> Drop your opinions on the comment section. Let's laugh together. Bye for now, guys. Please do it. Subscribe to this channel, okay? Bye.